What is up guys? Prodigy here and we got the new subclass for the hunter. It's going to be called the Night Stalker and it's going to be a void subclass. According to Bungie, this is the hunter's support class and it's going to make the hunter more helpful in team environments. But before I jump into this video, just in case if you guys did not know, I also uploaded a video on the Warlock's new Arc subclass and the Titan's new Solar subclass. You can check them out by clicking on the screen now or you can just go in the description below and find the links whenever you want. But jumping into the new perks for the Void Hunter, starting with the grenades. The first one we have is Spike Grenade, and this is very similar to Titan's Void Grenade, where you can throw it, stick it at any surface, and a Void Energy or Void Damaging Power will start emitting from it and doing damage to nearby enemies. The next one we have a Slash Grenade, which is one of the new ones. It's a horizontal wall of burning void light. And when I see this in action, it just seems like he's throwing like fire in a horizontal line. Maybe you can use it to block off areas or just throw it at enemies feet and burn them. The next thing we have in line is the jumps and they all seem very similar to what we already have, except for the third perk which is not there and it just have a bunch of question marks. I don't know if it's because it's a new perk or it's just the same as the rest, but it's not shown there. Moving on to the supers for the Void Night Stalker for the Hunter, we have Shadow Shot. Feather a large group of foes to a Void Anchor, slowing and slicing them for your fire team. If you haven't seen what does this look like, as you can see right now, the hunter is using his super, he tags all the acolytes, he ties them down together and slows them down so somebody can finish them off. As you can see here, the next two perks are question marks, so we don't know what are the perks. Again, if you guys know what are the two missing perks, let me know in the comment section below. After that, we have Gloam Ranger, and this is a weird one. This one says that when you use your super, you unite your allies, you reduce incoming damage, and you buff up outgoing damage. So this is definitely a support class. So somehow you tie up all your teammates together, you reduce the damage coming towards you from whatever you're shooting or killing, and you do more damage together as a team. So holy vagina, add that to the bubble with weapon of light or something like that and you're gonna do some major ass kicking. Next in line, we have the melee perks. And the first one we have, as you can see, is a smoke. For the melee perk, we have smoke. Throw smoke to slow down and disorient those within its cloud. So it's not really a melee perk, it's a grenade but it does replace your melee ability. The next perk we have is Smog, and this one goes along with the first perk, and this all it does is it increases the smoke generated by the smoke grenade. The next perk, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce, but all it does, it gives your smoke grenade a poison. It makes it toxic, it makes it do damage. After that, we have Snare, and this one is weird for me, but it says allows smoke to stick to surfaces and explode when enemies come by. I don't know how smoke is gonna stick to the surface. I don't know how smoke is going to blow up, but that's the description right there. Going on to the passive abilities, we have the Uncanny Archer. This one is pretty cool. It goes along with the super. For every target that you tag with your super, it will increase your armor and recovery by one until the next super is recharged and it also gives you reduced time to your next super so holy crap this one does a lot next off we have shadow trapper and this one helps your super a lot what it does it extends the range of the super so it can tie down more people it extends the duration of how long it ties down the people for and it also increases its potency meaning that it will actually really slow them down when they're tied up. After that we have the well provisioned perk and this one gives you an additional grenade for your hunter 
and it significantly increases the grenade durations. For the final set of perks, there are also passive perks. We have Keen Scout, Sneak Faster, Gain Enhanced Motion Tracker, and Mark All Targets You Damage. Allies get waypoints to marks. Rapid Shot, after firing your first Shadow Shot arrow, you may fire up to two explosive arrows in quick succession. And for the final perk, we have Shad Step and you gain an evade when you double tap the O's or you double tap the B button. And I don't know, you just get an evade. Anyways guys, this is really it for this video. I already uploaded all three subclasses coming with the Taken King. If you missed any, you can click on the screen right now or just go in the link in the description below. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you can please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.